Hey everyone, it's Hatra. Today I'll be looking at the best glitch spots on the map of dirt. This map is infamous for having many glitch spots ever since the day it was added. The first glitch spot was patched a long time ago, but ever since the most famous spot was removed, players have always found ways to get on top and out of the map. I will be giving every major spot a difficulty and effectiveness rating. Spot 1. At the back of this area, you can get a view of the map. It's difficult to snipe anyone at the other end, but this spot is great to kill enemies using other glitch spots. Spot 2. This corner is a good spot to defend, as enemies can only attack from one direction. If you want to camp here in a game mode like Captors or Spatula, this is a nice spot. This spot leads to the biggest glitch spot in the map. Just to get on the roof of the middle structures, where you have the ultimate vantage point over anyone below. When you are at spot 2, parkour on these ledges to get a quiet spot that overlooks a spawn point. Be careful, one wrong move and you will fall into the void. Spot 3, if you can successfully get to here you have a nice and spot to watch over spawns and hide from enemies. This is a good glitch spot to get safe kills without having too much exposure. King of the Coop mode, this spot is very effective to throw grenades over the wall to kill unsuspected enemies. If you have good parkour skills, you can jump on this wall by climbing this pyramid, where you will be seen as floating from anyone below. Spot 4, you have the ultimate view of being able to see just about anywhere on the maps that isn't in the building below. Your enemies won't be able to take cover from you here. The only disadvantage is you have no cover from enemy snipers. You can jump onto this ledge in front of spot 1, carefully walk around the edge and then jump to climb the second tower. Spot 5, the biggest strength here is to stand on top of the arc and shoot enemies from both sides. Using the RPG from this angle would render you almost unstoppable to your enemies below you, with the downside of having a small ammo supply. It's also possible to gain access to this spot by jumping onto the ledge and climbing it, but I believe it's a very hard challenge to do so. But I did get it once, so here it is. Spot 6. From this angle you get an exclusive high vantage point in this side of the map. You can even see some of the other side which you can't do from spot 1. These are all the main spots on the map. Now I will show you all the areas of the map that you can access with lifted display. Maybe possible to get to them, and I just haven't discovered the way to them. There is another great spot that I believe is one of the best spots to go. And that is on this ridge, on this edge of the map, close to spawn points and provides excellent lines of sight. If you are playing on Capture the Spatula mode, go here if you can get to Spatula, and unless your opponents are highly skilled or have watched this guide, they won't be able to get to it. Even if you are playing in other modes, this spot can prove extremely effective for spawn trapping and guarding coop locations in King of the Coop. This is the best strategy to win Captain the Spatula, or if you want to, you can jump off some map of it to make a win surf, but also make the game no fun. Here are some bonus additional spots. There is a small spot which I would say isn't normally worth the difficulty to get to, but may be useful in some situations. You can jump down to this spot 8, in this ledge here. It is only useful to kill enemies below. Once you are here, you can't get back up to the roof, and you can easily fall back. And you have no cover, so this isn't an effective spot. The final significant spot is at the back near spot 5, but you have to turn left and go to the back. 
Here, you have to parkour on the invisible block to get to the back. Note that the half block doesn't have an invisible block floating above it. For the difficulty of this spot, it isn't much better than spot 6, and while not as hard, takes time to get to this spot. You do have a great overlook of enemies below you from here. The last spot is a secret spot. Directly below spot foot, you have to fall backwards to gain access to behind the gate. This isn't easy to do, and there is no reward, except for the best hiding spot you could possibly get. Once you're here, all you can do is throw the in and your opponents will have no clue where it came from. If anyone finds it, if they either saw your name through the wall somehow or had wall hacks, I would say this is the best hiding spot, but now that I've made a video on it, it probably won't be. That's all the glitch spots currently on the map dirt. Be sure to like and subscribe if the video helps you.